Hey everyone, what's going on? I am Tim Burzens, and in today's video, I want to share an insight that came to me the other day surrounding uh, a way to let go of perfectionism. A way to let go of needing to never make a mistake, needing to always, you know, being attached to perfectionism, being averse to any sort of failure. Uh, and as I explored this, it sort of helped me come to a place where I felt a release within me around my own perfectionism and my own connection to trying to always um, control the circumstances and make them how I think they should be or judge them as judge my own actions, judge uh, how it unfolds rather than simply observing, simply watching the actions, uh, the unfolding of the event and being aware of how it unfolds so that I can learn from the event so that I come into future similar events at a higher level rather than coming into them at the same level to repeat the same mistakes. Which is what happens in perfectionism is that you resist the experience trying to control it to make yourself perfect now, but because of that you actually miss the insights and the lessons from the experience. You never actually absorb them into yourself and grow from them and then you continually just repeat this same pattern over and over again. It's sort of a paradox because you think that if you can make yourself act a certain way, if you can be perfect, that's the goal. So you should be striving for the goal. Well, if you stop striving for the goal, then you'll never reach the goal. But that's not quite accurate because there's, there's almost two levels functioning here. There's the emotional level of judging and condemnation for your position and how you're acting. And then there is the simple direction, uh, emotionless, um, you could call this the masculine force, um, cold, calculated, mathematical, it, it's just direction. It's sort of how you could say the GPS on your phone, uh, it just tells you where to go and that's it. It doesn't judge you if, if you go in the wrong direction, it just continually is always pointing towards that North Star. Well, we have that function within ourselves. The problem is that we often get caught up in the emotions, in the, the judgments of whether we're close enough to our goal or not, whether we're headed towards our ideal or whether we're still in a, in a state of resisting it, still in a state of um, being upset at ourselves for, for where we are. Part of that has to do with expectations. If we believe that we're supposed to be higher than we are, then wherever we are feels like a failure, right? So we should be here. Should is always indicative of, of some sort of guilt, some sort of judgment within yourself. Um, it, it implies that the way that you are is not okay. Contrast that to this navigational idea I was just describing, where it doesn't necessarily, your self-worth is not dependent on where you are in relation to your ideal. That allows you to hold an ideal without collapsing into self-judgment and condemnation. And it also prevents you from shifting the ideal in order to escape that self-condemnation and judgment. That's where a lot of people sort of get caught in, the, in this duality where they believe, if I'm going to have this ideal, then I'm, then I'm guilty and judgmental of myself until I reach it. Or I have to change the ideal in order to stop feeling this way, which is, I think would probably be arguably worse, although they're both probably existing at the same level of duality. The reason I say that it could be worse is because you're a little bit more delusional in that sense where you're willing to sacrifice what you're willing to sacrifice your highest ideals. You're willing to sacrifice your truth just for your feeling of adequacy in the moment. It's almost better to hold that ideal and suffer because at least then you can start to work through um, understanding why is the suffering here, you know, going through those lessons. If you're constantly running away from and escaping the suffering, then you're never going to grow through it. You're going to always remain lost because you don't have that navigational sense. It's better to have the navigational sense, even if you don't have the emotional backing for it, than to rely on the emotional backing without having the navigational sense. So I hope that made sense. Um, so the lesson that came to me was an understanding that failure is not only all right, but it is necessary you should fail on your way to a goal. You have to fail on your way to a goal. And the reason is because you cannot know where you need to improve unless you are exposed to those areas. And the way you're exposed to those areas are through failures. 
whether that's a macro failure as far as some big event or something that that happened in a way that you didn't want it to happen or if it's in a micro failure where in any given event maybe it went the way you wanted but there were some flaws and you didn't really act as good as you wanted to and so those little micro failures come up into your awareness as far as something to look at and something to be aware of so those micro failures those those whether it's micro or macro really doesn't matter the macros are probably harder to fully accept because you know they're bigger and they feel like a bigger deal but regardless you have to fail in order to be exposed to those areas that you need to improve at if you are never exposed to those which is similar to that idea of changing the ideal or remaining in this hazy fog where you never are willing to look at that harsh truth in order to grow from it um it's which is arguably worse which is definitely worse because you're in a situation that you're blinding yourself from reality in order to escape what could be when in reality you're not helping yourself from escaping that because if you are unaware of it it's more likely to have power over you than if you didn't so coming at any situation before you even go into it with the acknowledgement and the groundedness to say it is necessary for me to fail it has to be necessary for me to fail in order to grow then you make the goal the growth towards the goal and not just the achievement of the goal itself and that's a huge that's a huge shift this is the difference between outcome orientation and process orientation rather than looking at i need to achieve this outer condition you say i'm more focused on the process of the journey towards that outer condition and i'm just going to let the outer condition if it comes it comes if it doesn't it doesn't it's not my concern because what i care what i care about is the journey i care about the growth towards it now if you do that then it's almost inevitable that you will get the outcome that you want because if i mean the reason you want the outcome that you want in the first place is really because you want to become the person that is is the type of person that gets those sort of outcomes if you want to have a lot of money it's it's uh, a small and superficial egoic way to think that you just want the money what you want is that that state of consciousness of freedom of uh of um autonomy of being able to go do whatever you want or maybe even respect and admir admiration from other people so in other words you want to be that type of person you want to own that state of consciousness and the money is just the outer condition that sort of symbolizes that state for you uh and supports it symbolizes and supports it if you're holding that state internally so strongly that it almost doesn't even matter if the money's there then you start to become that person yourself and that's what you really want is to become that person growing towards that means that you're stepping towards being that person each time that you fail each time that you go into any situation regardless of you know even if it's not doesn't seem like it is in relation to the the ideal or goal that you have in your mind um life has a way of sort of like folding in and baking in things from unrelated subjects into every single experience of your life um if if the world is all a complex overlay of these simple geometric patterns then the same patterns are existent in all different subjects at the same time so you can always pull something out of every experience that can be helpful for all of your experiences similar to that saying the way you do anything is the way you do everything uh this puts puts a huge focus on the process on learning to grow through the process and enjoy the journey it also prevents you from from resisting the process which would be resisting failure because the process is going through those failures the process is having a light shown on your flaws the thing that hurts to look at because you really wish it wasn't there or maybe you suspect maybe it's there but you kind of don't want to admit it so you sort of like shy away from it um you you try to control the manage the expectations of others and control how you're perceived by others because if you're perceived in the way that you think you might and you really are afraid that you might then they're going to reflect back to you that you are that way and that's painful and you don't want that so you try to control the the conditions and the circumstances to push that away that doesn't help you at all it keeps you in the exact same place and you're going to keep repeating the failures and the mistakes because you're not willing to look at them they will have power over you so you aren't willing to look at them uh you're not willing to bring them into the fold so to speak bring them into your awareness so that you can relate with them and engage with them understand where they are and predict what how they're going to act or listen to what they have to say instead you keep them all in the dark so that they spring up out of nowhere surprising you spiraling you down into a place that you don't want to be acting how you don't want to be and of course not growing towards who you want to be growing towards your ideals and, and uh maintaining the demonstration of the state of consciousness that you're really seeking 
And that's really what the journey is all about. So contemplate this for a little bit, just kind of consider how this folds into your own life. What areas of, uh, you know, what ideals or what goals do you have that you're looking at that you feel currently are um, uh, stuck maybe? Because if they're stuck, then really what it is, is there's some area that you're not willing to fail. You're not willing to, to let that be there. And again, this doesn't have to be a big outer failure. It doesn't have, it can be an internal thing. When you feel that little negative emotion that's indicating to you like you're not really being at your best right now, you're, uh, you know, something that you're doing is misaligned with who you really are. That is a failure in, in each and every moment, every little social interaction, you can kind of feel that. The key is not to judge yourself for the failure, but rather accept fully and acknowledge that the failure has to happen for you to grow. And not only for you to grow, but for you to be happy, for you to be, to, to be at peace, for you to be all that you are. If you have that acceptance and acknowledgement going into the situation, it hurts way less you're way more willing to go into it. And there's this deep uh, presence and this deep pull into, into the, the, the truth of who you are, into the spaciousness of who you are. If you can fully accept and acknowledge it, it becomes a big release. And you're, you're finally able to just allow yourself to see yourself as you are, accept yourself as you are, and then work with it from that point. And that's far superior to the egoic persuasion that you should resist it and you should move away from it because it's painful and you don't want to look at it. It's not painful if you just fully accept it and fully surrender to it, allow it to be there. So I hope that you guys got a lot out of this video. Please uh, like the video, share with anyone who you think might like it, um, subscribe for future content. I'm going to be putting out a lot more videos and please comment if you got something out of this video. I would love to keep a, an engaging conversation going on in the comment section. With all that, stay present, stay peaceful, accept your failures. Uh, walk head on into them and allow them to be there um, with complete acceptance for yourself and an unwillingness to move your ideals. All right. Thank you, guys. Peace.